Good evening, this is HorseRacingNation.com Handicapper Jared Horak with your video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Sunday, April 3rd is going to be the 10th race from Gulfstream Park, the Grade 1 Florida Derby. Three-year-olds are going to be traveling a mile and an eighth on the main track. Let's break down the eight-horse field. There have been 24 races run at Gulfstream Park at a mile and an eighth at the current meet. The horses showing early pressing speed uh, have been dominating, also breaking from inner posts. So we want a horse that's going to be up on the pace are probably breaking from uh, one of the inside three posts. It'll probably be, prefer pre be preferable. Uh, probably on the outside post, Flashpoint is, is going to be the one that's going to go out and set the pace. He's had two lifetime starts, uh, both around one turn. He's been impressive, uh, but we'll have to see if he can get the whole nine for a long distance. Sending some good tactical trips, a sold debt and two honor and serve are breaking from post one and two. And then Stay Thirsty as well, of putting blinkers on, breaking from the middle. Uh, he's going to probably show some tactical speed. And then your late running threat is going to be dialed in. Now my top choice in here is going to be to honor and serve. In the Fountain of Youth Stakes, he was coming off of a layoff, uh, breaking from an, an outer post that day. Uh, he ended up, it looked, just looked like he was short. He, he stalked the pace. He was on even terms turning for home. And then in the final furlong, he just flattened out. He was beaten seven lengths, ended up finishing third. It just, just completely looked like a short horse that day. Uh, since then, he's been working well. He's had two bullet works at Payson Park. Uh, hasn't missed a beat. I think this time he's going to be much uh, tighter. He's got a better post as well. Uh, sold that breaking uh, from the inside who, who beat him in the Fountain of Youth. Uh, he's going to be all over that one. Actually, may, he may even be able to get the jump on that one today uh, and maybe pin him down on the inside. I see Flashpoint going out to the front. I'm going to think if Two Honor and Serve can can track that one and keep Soldat pinned down on the inside. Maybe he can get the first run, but uh, open up and, and hold off, off the late runners. Uh, Soldat, who did win the, the Fountain of Youth Stakes, he broke from post one that day in that nine furlong race. Once again, he's in post one, very advantageous, has good early pressing speed. He wired the field in the Fountain of Youth. He is versatile, doesn't have to be in front. I don't think he's going to be in front today. Uh, in his recent work, they've been working him in company and behind horses, trying to get him to relax and finish. That's what they want him to do in the Kentucky Derby. I expect that's the kind of trip he's going to sit today. Definitely a top three threat of all the horses, uh, the top five horses in here uh, that are graded winners. He seems the most likely to run a good solid race, and, and he should be at least on the board. But let's mention the other three big horses in here. Uh, Stay Thirsty. Like I said, he has tactical speed. Uh, he won, came, coming off a layoff, he won the Gotham Stakes. Nice effort. Showed a little bit of immaturity, still lugging in, not changing leads at the right time. He's putting blinkers on today. Uh, maybe his immaturity uh, makes, he, makes him not quite ready to win this race. Uh, in the long term, I do like him. I think he's going to be better as, as he gets more experience and his distances increase. Uh, but right now, I think maybe he's a little bit vulnerable in this spot. But if he offers value, uh, definitely maybe worth a play at 8-1. to one. Uh, Dialed in, your late runner in here. He was gr it looked great in, in his first two starts. Came from well off the pace. They were both sprints, uh, including the Holy Bull Stakes at one mile around one turn at Gulfstream. And then in his last race, a mile and an eighth, that was a, a prep race in the allowance ranks. Uh, he ended up getting no pace help. He was beaten by his stable mate. That was just a prep for this. Uh, so now he's going to get plenty of pace in this event, and I would expect that he's going to uh, jump up and run a good race. He needs, needs a, a fair track. Like I said, speed is, is dominant at this distance. Uh, he needs pace help, which he should get. And if he gets a fair track, maybe he can be along and, and spring a, a slight upset. Uh, right, I think he's 2-1 to one morning line. He'll, he'll probably be your second betting choice in here. Uh, Flashpoint is the last one worth mentioning. As I said, two for two around one turn. He looked great in the Hutchinson. We'll have to see if he can jump up and run after two lifetime starts, but jumping up and running against this quality company. Uh, I think he's, he's bred to sprint. I don't think he's going to be able to last. But again, since speed is favored at this distance, I wouldn't be shocked if he just got out there, uh, kept on going for a long time. This is how I suggest playing this race. We're going to make a $20 win bet on to honor and serve. I'm going to come back and play a $10 exacto box, sold debt, and to honor and serve. I'm definitely playing the way the track profile, which favors the horses breaking from the inner posts and showing early pressing speed. That's how I'm betting this race. If you go over to horseracingnation.com, you can have all of your Kentucky Derby info over there. We have your top 250 Kentucky Derby contenders list. We have daily workout reports. We also have blogs and news written by HRN staff, pedigree information, video replays of all the Kentucky Derby preps, and also analysis of the races. So for all of your 2011 Kentucky Derby needs, go on over to HorseRacingNation.com. And that'll wrap up this week's Video Race of the Week. For This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. Good luck at the races.